what's going on, you always like, oh, wait. Wait, wait, hold on, that's the wrong person. <laughs> Alright, anyway, sorry about that. But what's going on, guys? Today, I'm going to be showing you how to boost your FPS in Roblox. These are going to be really simple ways to boost your FPS in Roblox. I know some of you guys don't really have the best PCs and really need an FPS boost. So, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to do that. Number one, Razor Cortex. So, the first thing you're going to want to do is open up Chrome or whatever browser you use. The first thing you're going to want to search up is Razer Cortex. Once you get over here, you're going to want to click on the first link and then you're going to want to download Razer Cortex. Once you've downloaded Razer Cortex, you're just going to show like this. You can drag it onto your desktop like I did and then you're going to want to open it. All right, so some of you might know about Razer Cortex if you have a Razer mouse or a Razer keyboard you might have the regular razor app like razor sign apps i'm pretty sure that's what it's called and this is other one that you might have this is razor cortex and you can go to game booster right here and every time you open a game you can click boost now and then it will release memory like all the memories that's been taken up like on your ram it will release it so you can get the most amount of frames so as you can see it released one gigabyte almost two gigs and then you can go to booster prime but like but like over here, I already optimized everything, right? Let's say Roblox right here. If I click on Roblox right here, it says um, it's going to update the settings first. But if I put it all the way down to performance and put it to full screen right here, and then I can click optimize, and then it will optimize everything in Roblox. Since Roblox doesn't have much, it would optimize like the display more and the graphics quality. It will put it all the way to the lower stuff. Now the next next section is system booster in system booster you can go to system clean and you can scan your computer for all the junk files and all the files that your computer doesn't need and it will clear out everything as you can see i just cleared out 900 mb i do this kind of often but if you barely do say you haven't cleaned your pc in over a year this could rack up to over five gigabytes maybe over 10 gigabytes so as you can see it clears everything it clears the browser junk files there you go i cleared 800 mb for my computer the next section is speed up. So over here, it will optimize lots of items in your computer. Once you click optimize, it will optimize your disk, your desktop menu optimization. It would a lot, a lot of stuff. But for me, it, it just optimized it. Next one, you go defrag. Defrag really doesn't matter because a Roblox has to be on the opposite drive from your C drive. If you don't know what a C drive is, it's a thing that your Windows is operating on. So as you can see, I have GTA and Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege on my other drive as you can see these games are still on ssd and cannot be defragmented so if you really want to defrag roblox you can put it on your other drive to defrag it number two block shot all right so for the next step we are going to be searching up blocks trap over here you're going to want to click on the first link it's a github one right here i'll put the link in the description below so once you go here it's going to show, it's going to show a lot of these but you're going to want to look over here you want to click on this and down here you want to go over here blocks trap v2.5.4.exe you're going to want to download that once you download that you can find that in your file manager and then you can drag it onto your pc like i just did right after that you're going to want to open the application all right so once you have opened the application blocks trap has one of the best ways to like mod up your game whatever you want so if you go to mods you can have the old death sound you can have the og cursor you can have an old editor background lots of these stuff but we're not going to worry about this we're going to want to disable full screen optimizations next thing you want to do is go to fast flag over here you can set your frame rate limit if you really have a, a really good pc you can just set it to zero and then it will be unlimited but if you, if you really don't care about unlimited FPS, you can just set to your mod as a flash refresh rate. Like, mine's like, my monitor is 75, but I don't want 75, so I can just set to like 120, 200. But I like setting mine to zero. It's personal preference. The next one you're going to want to choose is Voxel Phase 1 or just Chosen by Game. It doesn't really matter which one you choose over here. The rest of these are just um, preferred escape menu. You can choose the old ones. Over here, you can choose the old texture menu, which I'm pretty sure it will make the textures really low so you can get the best FPS you can. So for the rest of the things, really just appear appearance and stuff, you know, just behavior and all that installation. 
But after you've done all of this, you're going to want to click install. So as you can see, it's going to install the Blocks Trap app, basically. So once you go want to click install, it's going to install Roblox on this. So then every time you open up Roblox, it's going to open up Blocks Trap. So it's going to apply all these things into Roblox every single time you launch it. So you will guarantee the best FPS. Number three, FPS Unlocker. Alright, so for the next step, you're going to want to go back to Chrome and search up Roblox FPS Unlocker. Over here is going to be another GitHub link. You don't want to click on it. So over here it's 5.2. I think in the old video it's like 4. Point something. But over here you're going to want to click over here and then we're going to want to download it. Once you download it, you're going to get this WinRAR file. If you don't know how to get WinRAR, I have a video on that. I'll link that in the description. So you're going to want to right click and click extract here. As you can see, it says confirm file replace. Yes. There you go. This is a file that you're going to want to get. Since I already had it, it replaced the file with this. So now what you're going to want to do is open up your Roblox. For me, I'm going to be choosing catalog avatar creator. You can choose like maps like flat, which you can test your FPS in the best. But in today's video, I'm going to be doing catalog avatar creator. So as you can see, when I'm loading up the game, it says block trap and it's going to be upgrading Roblox to applying all the things that you just did in block trap. Number four, windows optimization. So you're going to want to open your settings. You can open it from here. Right here, as you can see, the settings right there. So you're gonna open your settings. First thing you're gonna want to go on is update and security. Once you go to update and security, you can check for updates because if you have an update just lying around not updating, it can affect your FPS a lot. As you can see, I have updates, so now um, I can update these like at different times since I record. So the next thing you're gonna want to go on is gaming. Once you go to gaming, you're gonna want to turn off Game Boy. If it's on, you're gonna turn it off. If you go to captures, you're going to want to turn off background recording, put this to like the lowest, turn off everything. Next thing you want to go to is game mode. Game mode, you have to keep game mode on. People say that doesn't work, but for me, it optimizes my PC to play games. Next thing you want to do, you're going to want to click on graphics settings and turn this on. Because this reduces latency and improves performance. So, the first thing you're going to want to do. You're going to want to put Roblox on high performance. So, you're going to want to go back to where you have your Roblox. Mine's on my desktop. I'm going to right click on it. Open file location. So, the first thing I'm going to do over here, I'm going to right click, properties, compatibility, and then I'm going to go and click disable full screen optimizations and put this on. Okay. And then, next thing you're going to want to do, you're going to want to copy this URL at the top. You're going to go back here, browse, paste it up there. And then you go on to add this. Since I already have it, it says it was already added. Then you go on to click on options. It's going to be over here. You want to click on high performance. It's going to, that means Roblox is going to be ran on your GPU. As, as you can see, mine is a G4 GTX 1650. So yeah. All right, so when I joined the game, you can already see that my graphics are looking really low from Razer Cortex that it put all my settings down. So I can go over here and I can put it all the way back up like I want. I like mine like this. If you really want more FPS, you can put it all the way down or like, you know, just, you know, just whichever one you would like. So now what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to go to um, your Roblox FPS unlocker. So you're going to want to minus everything. You want to open this up. So don't worry about this and there's nothing wrong with it. So as you can see, restarting Roblox may be required for the changes to take effect. So as you can see, I'm going to FPS. I'm, I can put to 360 or, but to, in today's video, I'm going to be putting it to none. As you can see, it's going to tell me to restart my game. Boom. I'm going to restart my game now. Now I'm going to start it back up. All right, so when you join the game, you're going to want to hold shift and then F5. As you can see, I'm running around 300 FPS, 250 to 300 FPS. And this is why we're recording on max settings, max settings on Roblox and recording on pretty high settings on OBS. So without this, if I put it all the way down, I should get another huge FPS boost. As you can see, it's mostly 300. If I wasn't recording, it would be 300 to 400 FPS. And since um, this map is pretty big, see how big that is? It takes up a bit of frames and there's like a lot of weird stuff to it. So, yep. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed the video and yep, yeah, I hope this helped. Peace out and goodbye.